What's up, bookies.com? Jasmine McCoy here, and I'm in New York City for the World Lightweight Championship, November 27th, Madison Square Garden. I'm joined by Teofimo Lopez, 16-0, 12 knockouts, undisputed lightweight champion. First and foremost, there was a lot of pushback, a lot of people talking about this fight. It's fight week. We're here. What has this entire process been like for you? Um, it's been a movie, you know, a roller coaster, but, uh, you know, like they say, enjoy the ride, right? So... For me, it's been um, just a lot of teaching throughout the whole course of it. You know, um, I'm still young as it is, and especially in the industry that, that we all play a part of. So for me, it's, uh, it's all about just learning throughout the process and just how do I manage to keep myself positive throughout the whole uh, situations that was going on. And, um, you know, I'm thankful for every situation that happened. I'm thankful for all the things that played out. And, you know, I'm thankful for being here today. You know, thank you to the zone and to everybody that plays a part of this. You know, it's... Uh, um, it's a dream come true, you know, I'm just gladly thankful that I'm able, like, I'm three, four days away, a couple of days away from lacing these gloves and going, going crazy with it. <laughs> yeah, and you talk about being happy, and you actually have a very interesting family, emotional story, kind of how have those events shaped you into the fighter that you are today? Oh, you know, I, I'm an emotional man. Uh, what can I say, you know? But it's because everything that we do is uh, it's emotion, you know? I mean, people risk their lives when they go in that ring, you know? So it's a, it's a lot to take in. You know, um, what I like the most, you know, it's, it's, all, it's more than that, though. It's more about, it's more than being an athlete, you know? It's, that's for us, it's the biggest thing, you know? My life and everything has, how everything has played out is for the reasons that I had to, to make me stronger, to make me go through the things that, I, that have come my way because I'm able to prepare myself because I've already gone through so much. So for me, like with family and everything, I'm big on family, I'm big on what I do for my sport. Um, but it's all about just like reminding myself as a person and as a human that, that I'm, I'm my number one priority when it comes to everything. The, the train don't move without me, so I have to take care of myself first and foremost. You've, you said you feel like you've been here before, but the last time you did this, you did it wrong, but you got a second chance. Yes. How are you gonna take that and implement that into this week? I Just basically by all the stuff that I worked so hard for doing what I've been doing, um, I think really, uh, you know, I feel like um, I've been here before for sure, you know, because I make everything, it feels natural to me. You know, when I first started boxing, uh, first time I ever actually like went back into the gym and I was six years old and I, I learned combinations that took people maybe weeks to learn. I learned it in minutes like that. So it was naturally like I was naturally gifted for this. For, for me, for everybody come this week, you know, I just want to show everyone that I'm I'm what they saw in Loma, like in that fight, but more, you know, like people have yet to see what I'm capable of doing. Like I'm not even in my prime yet. You know, and that's the beauty of it, that I thank the man above for giving me the talents and the gifts and the dedication to keep me focused to do much more than Mayweather, do much more than Canelo, Ali, all these guys. Yeah, I'm going to strive for that, you know, but I respect all of them because they've all paved the way for, for me to be where I'm at today. And you mentioned that challenge from Loma. What adjustments are you taking from that and putting into your training? Uh, for me, you know, it's really... Um, there's nothing really I have to change when it comes to fighters like Cambosis or anybody like that. All I do is just try to enhance my abilities. You know, now I've been switching to Southpaw. So now um, I've learned more tricks where I'm able to go forward and backwards at the same time, but I'm always in position. So I'm always ready to counter and punch somebody. I'm never going to be off balance. Balance is the, is the hardest thing to, to um, accomplish in life because at any time, any day, it could, you know, it could tilt. So for me, that's what I'm just working on, is just balance. And balance in life, balance in my, uh, in my style. And I look forward to showing everybody that on Saturday night. And lastly, when it's all said and done, what do you want to leave with the world with on November 27th after that fight? November 27th, um, stop bullying me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here to stay. I'm not here to be just partaking in what I do. You know, stop trying to sabotage my career, Floyd. Like, stop trying. Like, all these guys need to stop trying to, trying to hurt a young blood that's trying to do what he got to do. You know, everybody had to go through it. So just because I'm doing it quicker than them doesn't mean that um, I am better. No, for real, for real. I'm better than say them. Say it, yeah. I am. I say it with my chest. <laughs> and, um, but it's mainly, I want to just show people, like, um, they can't break me. Nobody can break me. I love it. Thanks so much for your time and good luck. Thank you. Hey, McGregor, like, like McGregor said, fuck the Mayweathers. For real. Yeah.
Let's hop. You heard it here first. <laughs>